Top 10 African Countries with the Most Beautiful Presidential Palaces 2020 Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Displore. In this video, we shall be taking you around Africa to present you the top 10 African countries with the most beautiful presidential palaces. A presidential palace is the official residence of the president in most countries. However, some countries do not call the official residence of their head of state a palace or use the building only as a workplace separate from the president's actual home. Some presidential palaces were once the official residences to monarchs in former monarchies that were preserved during those states' transition into republics. The presidential palace of Turkey is the world's largest presidential palace. A presidential palace of a country does not only demonstrate the strength of the country, but also, in some cases, the power and wealth of the man in power. Africa is one of the most beautiful and dramatic continents on the earth and when it comes to constructing its presidential palaces, they go all in. To categorize these beautiful palaces, the cost of construction, the scenery, and general decorations are taken into consideration. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. In Africa, the presidential palaces are famous for being very beautiful. Studies of presidential palaces in Africa have interested many researchers and all palaces found in all its 54 countries are breathtaking. But in this video, we will focus on the most outstanding African palaces. So in no particular order, here are the top 10 African countries with the most beautiful presidential palaces. Number 10. Presidential Palace, Senegal With the elegant white vintage and extensive gardens beautifying it, the Presidential Palace Dakar, Senegal is one of the most beautiful in Africa. The Palace of the Republic, residence of the President of the Republic, is a historic manor located in the Plateau district of Dakar, capital city of Senegal. The palace, the construction of which was commissioned in 1902 by Gaston Dumergue, Minister of Colonies at the time, was initially built to accommodate the Governor General of French West Africa who was living in St. Louis in the capital. It was designed by Henri de Glan. After five years of construction, this neoclassical building topped with a tower inspired by the Trocadero in Paris. It was inaugurated on June 28, 1907 as the Palace of the General Government. The edifice was modernized by High Commissioner Paul Bichard, tenant of the premises from 1947 to 1951. It was following this renovation that the palace opened its doors to the first President of the Republic of Senegal, Leopold Seda Senghor, who became its official resident on September 5, 1960. Since Senegal's independence, the Palace of the Republic has been the head of state's palace of residence and, as such, was home to President Leopold Senda Senghor from 1960 to 1980. Abdul Diouf from 1980 to 2000, Abdullahi Wade from 2000 to 2012, and Sall since 2012. Number 9. State House, Kampala, Uganda State House is the official residence of the President of Uganda. Situated at Entebbe, 40 kilometers south of Kampala, capital of Uganda, it is adjacent to a ceremonial H-shaped building which hosted the Queen of England on her visit to Uganda for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The State House had some renovations with a project cost at approximately $1.6 million. Stepping up from the 10th position last year to the 9th is an indication of all the adornments added onto this already beautiful palace. Number 8. Presidential Palace, Nouakchott, Mauritania Presidential Palace is the official residence of the President of Mauritania, located in Nouakchott. It is located in the center of the city and is by far the most prominent landmark in the city, set in extensive gardens and grounds. Built by the Chinese, it lies just to the northwest of the Lebanese International University, adjacent to the U.S. Embassy. It is made to sit on extensive ground and beautiful gardens and is indisputably the most spectacular landmark in the city. This site houses the President of Mauritania and is the principal administrative office of the government of Mauritania. Number 7. Presidential Palace, Gordon's Palace, Khartoum, Sudan The Presidential Palace of Sudan is definitely a great work of spirit. A masterpiece and its splendor and particularity, characterized by its border with the Nile, is a strategic asset. Adorned with invaluable relics and antiques, Presidential Palace located on Blue Nile Street adjacent to the Palace Museum in Khartoum is markedly historic and such a great reminder of the struggle of the people of Sudan towards independence. The Presidential Palace was opened on the anniversary of the 1885 liberation of Khartoum. The new palace, sited next to the old colonial building, was built by a Chinese firm in a move seen as symbolic of a shift towards investment in Africa from the Far East. 
The palace serves as resident and administrative office to the President of Sudan. Number 6. Iavoloha Palace, Antananarivo, Madagascar Situated at the top of the hill with its beautiful and grandeur, Iavoloha Palace is one of its kind. Iavoloha Palace is the official residence of the President of Madagascar. It is situated 15 kilometers to the south from the capital, Antananarivo. Iavohola was modeled on the rover of Antananarivo, Madagascar's two presidential palaces, Amboti Storistra Palace and Iavoloha Palace. Located 15 kilometers from the capital, the Iavoloha Palace is huge. It has always been painted white and its architecture is almost identical to that of the Queen's Palace in Manjang Kiamandiana, sovereign of Madagascar in the 19th century. It is often the object of curiosity on the part of the tourists passing through Antananarivo because of its enormous nature and extremely beautiful surroundings. Number 5. The Golden Jubilee House, Accra, Ghana Golden Jubilee House or Jubilee House is a presidential palace in Accra that serves as a resident and office to the President of Ghana. Jubilee House is built on the site of a building that was constructed and used for administrative purposes by the British Gold Coast Government. The previous seat of government of Ghana was also Castle. It was renamed Golden Jubilee House by President Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado on 29th March 2018. It has previously been known as the Flagstaff House. The original budget of the reconstruction was $30 million, which was a grant from the Indian government. However, BBC journalist David Amano reported the construction may have cost as much as $45 to $50 million. Building of the palace was overseen by an Indian contractor who used Ghanaian subcontractors. Even though not quite finished, the palace is very expensive with a breathtaking structure reflective of the glory of the Ghanaian culture. Number 4. State House of Namibia The State House of the Republic of Namibia is the administrative capital of Namibia as well as the official residence of the President of Namibia, located in the Ausblick suburb of Windhoek. The State House was constructed by Mansu Dai Overseas Projects of North Korea from September 2002 to March 2008 a total of 66 months. The State House was designed by the North Korean company Mansu Dai Overseas Projects. In September 2002, at the end of his term, Sam Nujoma, the first president of Namibia, had construction began on the new building. To replace the old State House in the inner city, because the office space in the old State House and the very inadequate parking was too small. According to unofficial estimates, the construction cost was about $40 million. The administrative area consists of the office of the president, the offices of cabinet members and 200 staff offices of the president and numerous guest houses. About the park-like grounds are animal replicas like kudu and elephants made of copper. In the entrance hall is a painting of the members of the first Namibian cabinet. Before the door to the two-story entrance hall, a woody carving shows a representation of women from all ethnic groups in the country. On the opposite wall at this level, there is a large painting of the Ipupa Falls, painted in 2005 by a Korean artist. White in color like other great palaces of the world, it is huge, subtly decorated and full of symbols. It imposes the respect of the country for all the visitors who cross its press. Covering 25 hectares of land, it is definitely a fortress. Number 3. Union Buildings, Pretoria, South Africa The Union Buildings house the offices of the President of South Africa. The building, inscribed in the Register of National Monuments, is one of the main centers of the country's political life and a popular and tourist emblem of the city of Pretoria. The buildings of the Union were built between 1909 and 1913 on the plans of the architect Herbert Baker. The Union buildings form the official seat of the South African government and also houses the offices of the President of South Africa. It has become an iconic landmark of Pretoria and South Africa in general and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city and an emblem of democracy. Various monuments adorn the expansive lawns, including the Delville, Wood War Memorial, and the statue of the country's first Prime Minister, General the Right Honorable Louis Botha. The lawn in front of the Union buildings are often the location for public gatherings, whether they be protests or celebrations, such as the presidential inauguration. Notable are the terraced gardens, planted exclusively with indigenous plants surrounding the buildings as well as the 9,000-seat Nelson Mandela Amphitheater. Number 2. Abdin Palace, Egypt Abdin Palace is a historic Cairo palace and one of the official residences and the principal workplace of the President of Egypt located above Kars El Nil Street in eastern downtown Cairo, Egypt. 
Built on the site of a small mansion owned by Abidin Bey, Abdin Palace, which is named after him, is considered one of the most sumptuous palaces in the world in terms of its adornments, paintings, and large number of clocks scattered in the palace and wings, most of which are decorated with pure gold. Built by Khedif Ismailand and designed by the French architect Lyon Rousseau, along with a large number of Egyptian, Italian, French, and Turkish decorators to become the official government headquarters, this palace is used for official events and ceremonies. Construction started in 1863 and continued for 10 years and the palace was officially inaugurated in 1874. However, the palace's garden was added in 1921 by Sultan Fuad I. The cost of building the palace reached $44,700 back then in addition to $2.6 million. More money was also spent on the 500 suite palace's alteration, preservation and maintenance by constructive rulers. Other palaces the King of Egypt uses include Heliopolis Palace, Cairo, Kube Palace, Cairo, Montanza Palace, Alexandria, Ras Elton Palace, Alexandria. Last year it was the first palace in Africa. Number 1. The Unity Palace, Cameroon The Unity Palace is the name of the residence of the head of state of Cameroon, Paul Bia, who has been living there since 1982. It is located in Yaoundé, more precisely in Etudi. The Unity Palace also houses most of the services related to the Presidency of the Republic and the General Secretariat of the Republic. Its shape, its architecture and its presence illuminate all the political capital of Cameroon. Designed by Clément Olivier Kaboup, a Franco-Tunisian, the main building sits in the middle of this complex that stretches over several hectares above a hill. With the towering pillars that hold its walls, pleasant surroundings and verdant greenery around it, the Unity Palace is a striking work of art. Construction of the Unity Palace dates back to the early 1980s. Former President Aijo, who inaugurated it less than four months before his departure from power, had invested $342.5 million for the construction of this building. As sumptuous as it is luxurious, it turns out to be a real fortress. There you have it, Explorers. Those were the top 10 most beautiful palaces in Africa. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.